So what we're going to do uh, as far as our, our restoration management, we're going to go in and, and thin this. It's going to be a, a commercial thin because they're, they're big enough trees. Uh, we're going to uh, thin it uh, and also uh, produce snags and downed wood because well, one of a couple of the real limiting factors for, for owls is snags, nest type trees. We're going Healthy Forest Reserve Program. It's, a, it's an easement program through NRCS. And um, for a Healthy Forest Reserve Program, one of the parameters is it had to benefit some threatened or endangered species. And in, in Oregon, that was a spotted owl. It is an easement program, so we buy the development rights in perpetuity and uh, then we also have a restoration phase at the front end where we work with them and, and are able to cost share with them to to do some restoration work to sort of uh, boost the habitat along so we get a jump start on what we're looking for as far as spotted owl habitat. Mom's side of the family has been in this area since the late 1880s. My, my dad's side they, when they bought the ranch was in the early 40s, the 1940s and so it's a long-term, it's a long-term relationship with the with the land, and and so saying that we we are environmentalists, we we depend on on the ground, and it's certainly in our best interest, just from a selfish standpoint, to to, to take care of it um, if, for a long-term basis. But it goes beyond that. We are this. We realize that we are simply the stewards of the land. It's not. It's ours for this period of time. Someone else will have it down the road, and so we do um, want to take as good a care of it as we can and pass it on to the next generation, whether it be our family or somebody else's, in a better place than what it was when we found it. I think this program, the HFRP program, is, is a good way for us to do that, especially on this piece of ground. Um, it fits our management goals. You know, we, are, we are able to harvest. There are some guidelines. We, you know, we will be leaving some, some legacy trees and some other uh, trees to develop into um, large alp owl habitat trees and um, but we still can make a, a living off the land which which is important we, you know we can't af we can't afford not to be able to make a, a living off the land and so we are um, we are able to do that through this this program and we're thankful for that um, but at the same point in time we're able to create you know I think a positive habitat for not only the spotted owl but for other um, other species of, of wildlife and um, at the same point in time, I think it's a responsible way to harvest. We always, I think we're all trying to do the same thing for the public in, in the long run. And so um, I, think, I just think it's a responsible program, and, and I think it's going to work for, for us in this piece of ground. I'm thankful for the opportunity.